Hey everyone, in this video, I'll show you how to set up alerts on TradingView to trigger in Discord. First, I'm just going to explain to you quickly how this works. There's two boxes, TradingView and Discord. Discord has this thing called webhooks where you can send information from anywhere without logging in. And when you set alerts to TradingView, it allows you to send stuff to Webhook. And when Discord knows you're sending stuff to Webhook, Webhook sends the information back to Discord to show what the information was. Now, Webhook doesn't understand plain English. It has a format called JSON. So we're going to use an extension called Discord Webhook extension to convert the plain English to JSON so we can convert the data. So the first thing you need to do is go into your Google Chrome and search for Discord webhook extension. Now this is the one that is released on 17 December 2023. So just click on to this one. I have it already installed, but for you, you're going to have to add it. I'm going to post this link on description as well. Now I'm just going to show you how to create a webhook on the Discord. To do that, you need to have your own server. For that, you just go onto the bottom left onto your computer on the Discord window and then create your own server. For me and my friends is okay. And then you can name it Trading View Alerts. And then you can create the channel in general here in the settings where it says Edit Channel. Click onto the Edit Channel and then Integrations and then create Webhook right here. It comes with generic names, but you can name it anything. So I'm going to use it for NASDAQ chart. So I'm going to say NAS alert bot. Make sure you save the changes on the bottom and then copy the URL onto the NASDAQ here. I'm just going to go into one minute. So that it's easy for me to trigger an alert. So I need to get a horizontal ray or I'm just going to do vertical ray in this one. So I'll get the vertical ray and then I'll place it right here. And then I can set an alert on vertical ray that every time it crosses it, it's going to trigger an alert. So add on vertical line and it's going to go into settings and notification. First, I'm just going to go into the notifications and to do that just click notifications and at the moment i have alert triggering in app so it has like really bad sound i hide it and to do that you need to uncheck all of them i mean you can check all of them if you want and it's just gonna do what you're saying so it's gonna show you a pop-up and email and notify an app and you know everything and i don't like everything i just usually use the webhook url so click webhook url and because you have it copied from here so come back here and then paste it and then once you have it pasted here go back in your settings where it says nasdaq this 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 the problem is if you send the data like that when the English. alert's gonna trigger it's not gonna know what you're trying to do so for me, I want to place a buy order anytime soon. So I'm going to say uh, buy soon. But the problem is it's not going to go. So I'm going to go on my extension, the one I asked you to download before. So Discord Webhook extension. And here you can click here into the input box and type buy soon. And then copy to clipboard. And this is what it's going to show you when it comes to Discord. So when you copy it here, you can paste it now anywhere. So I'm just going to delete everything and paste it here. So it just puts in the format, the format which the webhook understands. So right here it says buy soon, but it covers it in a layer where the webhook can understand. So create a new one. So every time it's going to cross, I'm going to have an alert. So I'm just going to wait for that. And now that I've got that, it comes with buy soon. So you can set like however you want. And I can like even push it a little bit on the right side. It says buy soon again. Or I can edit it and I can say 
if you can do the whole thing but if you do understand it's gonna be under the title and description if you want to but title is more than enough so in the title you can edit um, sell soon so save but just to make sure if you don't understand what JSON is and stuff it's better if you just edit the alert go into here delete everything and then quickly come up here and says sell zone and then copy to clipboard come here and paste it and then save it uh, now if you want to have a lot of channels here like XAU, USD, NASDAQ there's more like 10 different channels and have the discord webhook for each channel there's an extension called permanent clipboard which is this one and I can show you what it looks like right here what this does is it can add your all the channels webhook so I'm just gonna show you create new entry and enter NAS as the description and for content I'm just gonna go back to my webhook URL and I'm gonna paste this one and I'll come here and paste my webhook URL add and now every time you set an alert and you're looking for the webhook to post just quickly come up here paste it just by clicking here and then done and then save so it's easy as I do it all the time so I got buy zone sell zone and every time it's just gonna trigger it's gonna come up with a alert so and I'm just gonna show you one more thing when you go on here to get the click get from clipboard option you gotta have to turn on the settings by going into the discord webhook extension view web permissions and allowing the clipboard here so it must say before ask default but you can just allow it and what that's gonna do is if you have the text so if I set a new alert right here and if I go in it's gonna say NAS 100 crossing this and you can simply just cut it and then come up here and say get from clipboard and that's what it's gonna show you so come here paste it and this is where it's gonna put it in format so save it and just make sure that you still have the webhook URL yep you've got that just to make sure that uh, you know that every time you put webhook URL and you go into the Nasdaq chart or gold chart it's just gonna stay to one webhook URL so every time you go into different channel and set different alerts just keep changing the webhook I know it shouldn't be like that uh, and to do that it's just I've shown you the extension this one the permanent clipboard so you can just keep using that uh, thank you everyone I hope you got the value out of that one